Hi GB friends, today we have the pleasure to be here with a great friend of the GB family, a new friend of GB family, Mr. Philip Otto. Philip, good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, could you tell us introducing about your life path? Yes, I was uh, riding in Moto3 for the majority of my career. I think I've been there for, uh, for six, six years. I mean, it's a podium, one victory also. And uh, then I changed to, to Mod 2, which was uh, not so successful. But uh, since last year, I, uh, I joined the Kuchelki racing team. Together in the Kawasaki family, I did really good. And uh, last year, we finished already third in the championship, which was good. Uh, and I feel happy. And now I can't wait to start this uh, new season. Good. good. 2020 changed a lot of things. Uh, you're quite young, yeah, but I guess that the impact was so strong also for, for you. What does it mean, uh, for example, ride and be on track without an audience? Um, during the racing, to be honest, you don't feel it so much. But on a race weekend, when you don't ride, that's the moment or the, the outlet, the inlet. That's the, the point where you think, ah, I'm just doing another test. I don't do another a race because not really. Uh, Misano is full. Uh, you cannot see the grass because everything is so full. And uh, this is something I, I really miss and I hope we can uh, the fans will come back soon and also uh, the sponsors can end the, the race. That's uh, something I think is really important for the sponsors and the fans and the riders in the end. Now it's, it's boring. It's boring. Yeah, life, life change. Yes, completely. Uh, what about the um, your your private side of life. I mean, um, where did you find the energies, and how did you recharge your batteries uh, when you are not uh, on track? Especially last year, it was difficult after Australia because uh, after Australia we don't have a schedule. There was everything was cancelled, but there was no racing. Uh, this was difficult to find the motivation for training because for for what? What is the goal? Uh, if, if you train in the winter, you have the goal to be ready for the first race, race for the first for the first time. But after Australia, everything was gone. So um, there it was important to, to change, no, not do every day the same. Sometimes, uh, for me, my training is important. And it's, my, it's kind of a hobby. And uh, so I went around. Then, uh, okay, it was still March, so cross-country skiing. I try to mix up the things to different things and uh, sometimes just uh, relax on the couch because uh, in MotoGP, if you have 20 races, it's a lot. And um, to calm down, was, was in the beginning was nice, but then I need to, need to go back on the racetrack. And uh, I'm, I'm happy that we can, we can race. It's not like it after Australia where it, we were not allowed to do days. It was not allowed to, to do anything. Yes. You such hobbies. And I was curious about your hobbies. When you're not on the bike, what is your favorite activity? Uh, not only sports, I guess. Yeah. Generally, some music, something like that. Play yes. music, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, my family is into sport, like in, into every sport. So. Uh, cycling is a big uh, story, uh, especially mountain bike and now also road bike. Um, so to be honest, the sport is my hobby because I enjoy being outside. Uh, and uh, okay, uh, together with one person or without, um, listen to some music while I'm training. It's uh, and just enjoy the, the scenery because I live in a I have pleasure to live in a very nice area. So um, it's this is this is all my hobbies. And I, I enjoy them, and it's good to, to have a family uh, who is also into sports, so you can share uh, at least some moments together. Yeah, very good. Very good. Coming back to our main activities. Yes. <laughs> uh, what is your expectation for the next for the next season? What do you expect, not only for your uh, personal performance, yeah. but also for uh, for the team? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, it's difficult. Um, in the moment. For, for myself, I expect a good season. Um, of course, last year we finished third, and uh, from there on, there are only two more places to, to improve. Um, there are new riders entering the championship, so it will be, of course, every year is difficult. Uh, we will see after a few races where we are, and from, from that point we work, we work more. Um, but I had the four, four years in a row, I had injuries, 
and last season was the first season where I don't have injury. So I would like to continue like this um, because I know how much uh, injury affects uh, the championship. And of course, for, for the racing in general, I hope that um, that our sponsors can come to the race track and the fans can come to the race track. Of course, you have to find a way to make it in a safe, safe uh, environment. And I think this, in the moment, uh, seems to be complicated. And uh, it's also complicated to find a solution for, for this. Uh, I think there is not one correct way, but I think we have to try to, to find a way. Because in the end, um, my riding is financed by uh, sponsors. And sp uh, my sponsors come from, from my area and we are like one family. And um, if they cannot come to the races, it's, uh, it's not, not good. I, I would like to have them at the track and join me and uh, celebrate with me and support me. And I can say that you are also part of yeah. the G family. True, true. And we will support you for, yeah. for the next season. Could you send a final message to our supporters, yes. the G family, and to come as support? Sure, please. Sure, sure. Um, I hope that uh, next uh, this season uh, will be a really good one uh, and that the GV and Kawasaki family can join us on, on the racetrack, that would be great um, because uh, racing feels like testing in the moment and there is a difference between testing and racing and uh, hope that uh, you can support us on the racetrack and not just in front of the GV. Thanks Philip. good luck, thank you, thank you very much.